Here we are in a, another trivia league, the movie trivia face-off. I've played in Full Metal, I've played in the fan reaction leagues, I've played in Multiplex, I've played everywhere. And uh, I'm here to play in this one. Hey guys, it's the Kingslayer, Ishan Bajpay here. So excited to be making my debut in the movie trivia fan leagues. I've lost. I've lost everywhere, so um, either I'm gonna get a win in another place or I'm gonna lose in another place. Either way, it's gonna, it's something, something magical, I feel like, is going to happen here today. Uh, I've been watching the Schmodown for a few years now and so excited to be finally taking part in this. Um, other than that, uh, I'm looking forward to facing my opponent who I have never seen play before, which is shocking for this community. I'll so my opponent today is the wolf. I think it's quite appropriate that the Kingslayer takes him down today. Uh, uh, but hey, win or lose, I'm going to give it my best in this likely loss. So let's just get right into this match. I hope I can have a decent showing in the first go. And yeah, quite excited to be a part of this world. Hey everyone, welcome to another match of the movie trivia face-off. Today we have another two newcomers to this league. One of them is a veteran, another one has never played before in an online movie trivia league. So, DJ, this is going to be, you know, a battle of uh, two different people. Because one of them doesn't really care of the, about the lights. The lights don't come to him. But the pressure to play for the first time can be huge and do you it's think be that an interesting match for sure it's yeah. gonna be you know you get a lot of experience versus first timer nerves versus no nerves this is gonna be a lot of fun to watch these guys go up against each other yeah it's it's uh, yeah i can't wait for this it's gonna be a lot of fun exactly so we have jim the wolf green uh, coming from multiplex entertainment and his name has been going on in the discord server for a for a long time now, he has been challenged and he has been challenging a lot of people, you know? So, but for him to go on to the tournament and be able to face those people, he has to win today. But in front of him, he has Ishnap, the Kingslayer. So I don't know if I, if, I, if, I, if I pronounce that correctly, but to be fair, you guys don't really pronounce my name the way I say it, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, so, what do you think about this this guy? I think I think Ishan came in ready to play. He, he, I'm sure he's been studying. And as I've been getting to know more of these uh, competitors from Multiplex and from Full Metal Trivia, and see these names that people talk about and they're discussing each other in the Discord server, this is going to be an interesting league because it's going to bring a lot of rivalries over from other leagues. Yeah. People are, as you said, are already calling each other out, not only in singles, but in the Geek Tackler division already. You know, it's going to be a whole lot of fun. I cannot wait. I enjoy, I love doing these matches because there's so many personalities I get to intermix with, and it's just so much, it, I love it. It's just so much fun. Yeah, Saldi, and every match is a story to be told. So, hey, what? <laughs> so let's, yes, it is. let's just, let's just go for it. <laughs> All right. Introducing first, making his movie trivia sh that word. movie trivia debut, representing the great state of India, King's Landing, and the Lannisters. It is the Kingslayer, Ishan Bajpai. Hey guys, what's up? Anything you want to say to your Excited opponent? Excited to be here. I just, yeah, it's my first time playing in a match online and I love trivia and I've loved the movie trivia showdown and now the face off to start playing this league. Right, that's good words man, good solid intro, I like it. And his opponent, representing Multiplex Entertainment, the Longhorn State, Texas, and the man in the north, it is the wolf, Jim Green. Tim Allinger, Dark Horse Heisman candidate this year. 
Okay. <laughs> so I did. Throws in his little college football re reference for the University of Texas. <laughs> Book him horns. So now that you mentioned it, I didn't really, really realize it until you brought that up. We have the Kingslayer, a Lannister against a Wolf today. Yeah. This is going to be something. This is going to Lannisters be something. And the Starks in the movie trivia face off. <laughs> All right, All guys. Right. So, are you guys ready to start? I'm ready. Yep. Ready. Right. So, then let's get ready to face off. All right, guys. In round number one, we will be asking eight questions to the field, and each competitor will have 15 seconds to write their best attempt of an answer in your whiteboard. Each correct answer will correspond in one point for you. There is no penalty for missing a question and there is no stealing available in this round. I will also remind you that you have three JTE rules or repeats each to use all throughout the match and also one challenge that if you, if the challenge is accepted, you will keep it. Okay, did you guys understand the rules? Yeah. You know the Kingslayer is serious. That is an industrial strength whiteboard. Yeah, <laughs> you couldn't get anything man. smaller than this. <laughs> All right. I'm going to start off with some questions today. All right. Question number one, round one. Comes from the category of 2010's movies. That's movies that have been made since the year 2010. Who was the only actor to reprise his role from 1993's Jurassic Park in 2015's Jurassic World? Nice question. Yeah, this is a good one. I know the person, but I didn't know his name. Yeah, I know the actor. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands down. All right, what you got, Ishan? Ah, uh, just blank. Oh, all right. And that was an easy one, actually. Uh, it's the Grandmaster. It's uh, Jeff Goldblum. Yeah. Looking for B.D. Wong. B.D. Oh. Wong. Yep. Oh. So. You might also know him from Doctor Strange. <laughs> All right. Second question in the category of Oscars. Which English actor won the 2014 Academy Award for Best Actor for his role in The Theory of Everything? Have you seen this movie? I haven't. I haven't either. I, I, I know. Lie. I haven't seen it full, but I have seen uh, some fragments of it. Two, one, pins down. All right, what you got there, Wolf? Eddie Redmayne. That's correct. Sharp. Yeah, no, nothing. Okay, so that's. One nothing lead. One nothing lead. Uh, definitely. It's kind of shitty. Definitely no perfect rounds today. Yep. <laughs> okay, that was okay. All right, Mr. Green's ready and back on the road. All right. Your third question comes from the category of animated movies. These are either hand-drawn or computer-generated. What 2007 Pixar film was set in France? En français. <laughs> Very nice movie. Fun. I... It's a, it's a good movie. It's yeah, I, I think it's question. underrated, to be honest. Five, four, three, two, one. Ben's down. Ishan, what you got there? Ratatouille? And Mr. Green. Uh, I can't spell it, but Ratatouille. But fair yeah, enough. Right. We don't worry too much about spelling. Correct answer. <laughs> and the Kingslayer gets on the board. Thank you, Timber Ooh. Chocola. British Chocola. Timber Chocola loves that movie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fourth question in the category of... You name, you name dropper. <laughs> in the category of drama. These are movies that have drama in it. Okay, what is the name of the character that Julia Roberts plays in August, Oshatch County? County. Osage County? Osage County. Yeah, I don't know. I have to ask Wiley, he might know where it is. In five, four. Three, Never heard of that two, movie. One. Pens down. Pens down. Alright, what you got there? Jim? Uh, not a hooker. <laughs> <laughs> Kingslayer? Story guess. Sarah? 
correct answer was Barbara, and I still don't know what movie they are talking about. <laughs> nah, even I don't know. <laughs> Never heard of it. No oh, idea. <laughs> Your next question is from the category of horror thriller. Horror thriller, yeah. something that Josh McCuga does not like. Me neither. This Me 2016 neither. film, 2016 film, directed by David F. Sandberg and produced by James Wan, has a very creepy ghost named Diana who only comes out when it starts. What is the name of this film? I'll give you a little extra time. It's a wordy question. Well, uh, uh, I know you've not seen this because it's a horror movie. <laughs> And it, it specifically says a creepy ghost. I, I mean, I am not... Yeah, that's definitely a, that's a, that's a non-starter for you. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Hands down. And Ishan. Is it the Babadook? That's incorrect. Wolf? Uh, the year is off. I said the nun. Also incorrect. We were looking for lights out. Oh, lights out. Okay, one, two, one, two. The wolf keeps the lead. Okay, six questions in the category of comedies. Ahahaha. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Murray played a weatherman in this 1993 film. Amazing movie. Bill Murray. Bill Murray. Bill Murray. Oh, Bill Murray. Is it that? Is that way how you guys pronounce it? That, yes, that is how he pronounces his name. In five, four, three, two, one. Pens now. So, what you got there, Jim? Uh, I feel like I've heard this before. Uh, Ground, Groundhog Day. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ishan? Groundhog Day. That's correct. <laughs> 3-2 lead. 3-2 lead. Question number seven. Two questions left to go in this category, in this round. All right. Your category is 1980s. And I'm pretty sure I was the only one here that was alive then. <laughs> yep. This teen vampire movie was made in 1987 and stars former heartthrobs Keeper Southern, Jason Patrick, Corey Hain, and Corey Feldman. What's the name? A lot of people in that movie. Yeah, a lot of the good cast. It was a good movie, too. <laughs> It doesn't hold up well, though. It doesn't? I haven't seen it. Yeah, it doesn't hold up well, sadly. Five, mm. four, three, two, one. Pens down. And Kingslayer. The Dean Wolf? No, it's not. No, it is not. Uh, Go ahead, Jim. Damn it. It's The Lost Boys. That is correct. Right. It is a lot of uh, isn't, uh, Teen Wolf, uh, isn't Teen Wolf a TV show, or is it the movie, a movie as well? Uh, there was a movie with Michael oh. Fox in that. Yeah. That's, that's how it's... I know. I knew it, there was a Michael J. Fox werewolf movie, but I didn't know it was the same name as the TV show. Mm -hmm. My sister is a huge fan of the TV show. I have never got past the first season. Um, <laughs> okay. Last question in the category of 2000s. Who directed the 2001 movie Spy Kids? This movie, I have. As a matter of fact, you? I may have, but I don't remember actually seeing it. It's, It's really fun. Antonio Banderas. And. I don't remember that. Thanks now. Oh, Mr. Puss in Boots himself. Yeah. All right, so, Wolf. You're just not even gonna mention Carla Di Gina, whatever. Okay. I don't know. Uh, he, I don't know his it's name. It's Robert Rodriguez. Ah, damn it. Is correct. And just by that reaction, I I don't think you have it, right? I didn't have that. No. Didn't have that. No. I I didn't know the name. What did you say again? Carla Di Gina plays the mom. Oh, oh, okay. I mean, I know Danny Trejo is in this. Is in that one. He's a uh, he's uncle. Yep, uncle. his uncle Machete. Machete, and they made another movie about it. But I I will always Which know and Antonio Banderas for uh, El Zorro. So that's for me. He's you know. Anyway, so the score is five two right now. Five two. Five two. Five, two yeah, five two lead. So that is the end of round one with both competitors going a little cranky at first. They managed <laughs> to pick to pick pace with Golf having a nice five point round. 
and it's um, you know falling a little behind but it's only a three point lead so every, anything can happen in the wheel around and neither competitor use any of their JTEs or their challenges so yep. we got all that moving forward all right so with that we are moving into round number two so in round number two each competitor is going to get a spin from the wheel and they will receive four questions of the category they land on each correct answer will result in two points but if they are not so sure of the answer they can ask for multiple choice in which case we will provide them with four possible answers I will also remind the competitors that if they are not happy with what they spun the first time they can spin again and they will have to take that they will not be allowed to spin again if they land in opponent's choice the first time I will also remind the competitors that you guys are able to steal your opponent's points in case of a, you know, of a miss of theirs. So be ready. Also, neither of you have used a JTE rule or a challenge, so you are full on that regard. Do you guys understand the rules? Yep. Alright, so... Wolf, you are in the lead 5 to 2, so do you like to go first or to defer to Isham? I like to play from behind. I will defer. Okay. Okay, so Ishan, whenever you're ready, tell Snacks to. I mean, Snacks, why don't you first tell the categories? All right, here's your categories for today's wheels. They are Julia Roberts, Fantasy Sci Fi, Directors, Animated Movies. 70s movies, Quentin Tarantino, The Great Robin Williams, Horror Thriller, Christopher Nolan, and 2010s movies, as well as opponents and spinner's choice. Okay. All right, here we go. First spin for Ishan. Round and round it goes. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. oh choice. I'll move that out of the way so you can see the wheel there. Wolf. Yep, so that's up to Wolf. Do you want the categories again? Uh, I'm good. Julia Roberts films. <laughs> okay. okay. Julia Roberts it is. Give me a second to get that pulled up and I'll ask the question. Yep. Julia Roberts. Okay, are you ready, Isha? Yep. Alright, question number one from the category of Julia Roberts in round two. In the movie Eat, Pray, Love, who plays Stephen, Liz's ex-husband? Haven't seen this. It's been a while since I've watched it. It's a pretty decent movie, though. I mean, multiple choice. All right. Your options are A, Billy Crudup, B, Michael Malley, C, Richard Jenkins, or D, James Franco. B was sorry. What was B? B was Mike O'Malley. Uh, is it C? That is incorrect. Would you like to try to steal a wolf? Uh, I'd like a repeat of just the options, please. All right. Your options are A. Billy Crudup. B. Mike O'Malley. C. Richard Jenkins. And D. James Franco. Billy Crudup. That is correct for a one point steal. Mm. Now he goes up six to two. All right, second question, category again, Julia Roberts. In the movie Notting Hill, what color is Will's house door? <laughs> I've seen this one. I have seen this one. But it's been a while, I don't think I would have gotten this. Mm, I think I know it. Ten, five, four, three. Repeat. First use of a JTE. In the movie Notting Hill, what color is Will's house door? Door, his front door. And that resets the clock too. That's good. Use the JTE. Yeah. Uh, I'll say green. Incorrect. Would you like I to will try to steal? I will say the other Christmas color, red. Also incorrect. We were looking for blue. Yes. I, <laughs> I knew that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Question number three. Two point two. Still six two. Yeah, you need to hit these next two to kind of try to close the gap up a little bit. Yep. In what year was the movie Steel Magnolias released? 
Oh, a movie release date, small question. Release Julia release. Roberts plus movie release dates, come on. Five, four, three, two. Multiple choice. All right. Your options are A, 1987, B, 1988, C, 1989, or D, 1990. <laughs> yeah, this is a deadly combination for sure. Julia Roberts movie released it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 88. Incorrect. Try for the steel. Also incorrect. Right around it. We were looking for 1988. <laughs> 1988. I said 98. See, he said 58. He said I said 88. Oh, sorry, my apologies. That's that's my bad. I read the wrong number. It's 1989. I'm sorry. 1989. <laughs> okay. no, that's on me. Thank you for correcting me. I appreciate that. <laughs> Woo. Read the, read the right one, dummy. Read the right one. Read the green answer. <laughs> Scott Mance is shaking his head at me right now. You just... Oh, dear God. <laughs> okay. Uh, he needs this two-pointer. All right. You need this yeah. two-pointer badly. In the movie Runaway Bride, what is the question that, like, always asks to Maggie's fiancés? Oh, I know that one as well. Wow. I didn't know Julia Roberts was a strength. <laughs> yes. Surprisingly, this is a good movie. It is. Mm. Five, Never seen it. Four, this will be a good guess. Two, two. Multiple choice. And your options and multiple choice are A. Her favorite color. B. Her way of drinking whiskey. C. Her baseball team. Or D. Her way of making eggs. Yeah, I think this would be a good question to ask. Yeah. See if you pay attention or not. Yeah. <laughs> Five, four. The reason three, why he asked is two, also a good one. The eggs. That is correct. The way they make, the way she makes her eggs for two. Yeah, points. because in the movie, oh, the way he, the way. That was one point. Oh, I'm sorry. That was one point. Yeah, the way. Because Maggie changed the way she liked the eggs for each boyfriend, so he wanted to, to you know, demonstrate she was like. I don't know how you guys say that word in English. <laughs> What's the word in Spanish? Aveleta. That, you know, she changes her opinion and she is very influential, so to speak. Pickle? I don't Let's know. Just go with All right. And at the end of that round, we have 6 3 lead for Wolf, is that correct? Yeah, exactly. So. <laughs> Let's go. If he gets a good round, he could close it up right now, but he could also allow some steals that Ishan needs to steal right now. So, bring out the wheel for Jim. All right. Let me know when you're ready, Jim. I'm good. Okay. And the spin is in, the spin is in. 2010's movies. <laughs> He's thinking. Yep. Keep it. Keep All right. Keep it. Movies. David will be asking you a question. <laughs> Right, 2010 movies. I have four questions here. So, in the movie Annihilation, what's the profession of Tessa Thompson's character, Josie Radek? Multiple choice. Okay. She is A, a physicist, physicist, B, a paramedic, C, a biologist. D, uh, a germorphologist. Germorf My God, <laughs> what was what was that? What was D? Ger germorphologist. Germorphologist. Is there is that a correct way to pronounce that word? I don't know. You have to spell that. Germorphologist. G e r m o r p h o l o g a s t. Like a germophologist. Germophologist. Uh, just, just the options for me again. Please. Yeah, of course. 
A. Physicist B. Physicist. Paramedic C. Aromatic. Biologist D. Biologist. Germorphologist Germorphologist Paramedic uh, Paramedic Physicist This is a tough question It is, yeah uh, I'm gonna say a paramedic That's incorrect For the steel, Ishan Biologist That's also incorrect We were looking for physicist Damn it that would have been my guess too. It would have been it would have been funny if it was the long one. Right? <laughs> none of us can say properly. <laughs> Alright, second question in the category of two thousand and tens. Jake Gyllenhaal starred in a two thousand and eleven film about a man who relieves a train explosion over and over again. What is the film? Uh source code. That is correct for two points, and he goes up seven to three. Four points now. That has to be horrible to relieve. It's not like Groundhog Day at all. Okay. That's kind of the opposite. Yeah. Okay. Third question. What is the name of the a cappella group the main character is part from is part of in the 2013's Pitch? Perfect. The Barden Bellas. That is correct. Nice. I, you know, I, I wanted to read the multiple choice because they are funny. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it's a good movie though. I liked it a lot, and the second part I do as well. That's two points, nine to three. So we are out of KO territory, but if he gets this two pointer, the fifth round, the third round is going to be hard for Ishan. Yeah. Okay, fourth question. In which decade is the 2016's movie Hail Caesar set? It's a decade. Scott Mance is jumping up and down. Five, four, three, two, one. Repeat the question. Right? In which decade it's the 2016's movie Hail Caesar set? You seen this? No. I, don't even know this one. I haven't seen it. No. I'm gonna have to study. Uh, this is gonna be a fucking yikes, me dog. I'm gonna say the 20s. That's incorrect for the steel, Ishan. The 60s. That's also incorrect, but you were closer. We were looking for the 50s. Oh, God. Yep. 10-3 after the end of round two. Yep. That would have been a good one to get. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it would have, yeah. So, 10-3, to three, the gap is 7 points, which is not so bad, but it's still a really hard comeback to get. But, I mean, everything can happen in the third round, so... You never know. You never know. Get three good strong categories in your, t your third round, you're good to go. Exactly. Today I'm going at Julia Roberts Plus movie release dates. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's go for round number three. Alright, round number three. Each competitor is going to give us three numbers which will correspond to three random categories in the movie trivia galaxy. They will receive three questions. The first one is going to have a two-point value, the second one a three-point value, and the third one a five-point value. There is no penalty for missing and there is no stealing this, this round. So, each of you have used a JTE rule. And now, Wolf, you are in the lead, so you will give us your numbers first. Uh, what numbers between 1 yeah, and Yeah, sorry. Between 1 and 18. Perfect. I will go with uh, Sam Ellinger, number 11. I will go with uh, Colt McCoy, number 12. And I will go with the national champion, Vince Young, number 10. Number 10. 11, 12, and 10. Colton, Colton, I don't Colton, know Colton, any Colton, of those Colton. people who play, they you know, me, former me univers either. University of Texas quarterbacks play that, football. That, we, that weird football where you guys use your hands. Okay. Yeah, so. not football. <laughs> All right, Isha, 
please your numbers i'll go for one two and eight since you are behind we will be asking you your questions first i will be administering these questions you pick one which category is will smith will smith very popular actor this is a two-point question one of them not two two-point question the category where you at will uh, there you go. will smith there we go and your question is for two points what government organization's corrupt members were after Will Smith in the movie Enemy of the State? And I would have gotten this one. Ooh. Really good movie. I, I don't know if I will, if I don't know it, but I probably could have guessed. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. That is incorrect. We're looking for the NSA, the National Security Agency. All right, that puts us to your three-pointer. Yeah. We're really going to need to hit this one. Yeah, he cannot yep. miss now. Mm. Cannot miss, or the wolf will have one. You pick number two. That corresponds to 2010's movies. 2010's okay. movies. Movies made from the year 2010 and or later. <laughs> All right. Your three-point question is, Chris Hemsworth protects a princess in what 2012 movie? Oh, this I only know this because we talked about it yesterday in another show. I know this because I have seen it. So five, four. It's three. Snow White and the Huntsman. That is correct. That's for correct three for three points. Alright, it is now ten six. It ten is six. a better movie than people will think, but the second part is better without Kristen Stewart in it. And your five-point question, you picked number eight. That corresponds to the category of coming-of-age movies. Coming-of-age movies. All right. <laughs> and it's a five-pointer. All right. Your random five-point question for this. You must answer this to push it back over to Wolf to answer at least one question and keep you in this game. Name two of the four protagonists in the coming-of-age movie Stand By Me. I'm going to give you extra time because we're asking for two names. Yep. Nice movie, I have to say. One of, one of the all-timers. Yeah, heart, heart, you know, heartwarming. It does stand the test of time, too. It's just as watchable now as it was when it came out. Mm -hmm. Five, four, three. Three beat. One. All right. That is your second JT. Question again. N name two of the four protagonists or characters in the coming-of-age film Stand By Me. But funny thing is, I don't know any of those names, and I only know one actor name. I know maybe two of the actors, but I don't know the character names. It's been a while since I've watched this one too. I'm way behind on my movies. Have, I have, have you picked up on that yet? Five, four, three. I know three, Chris one. and uh, Gordy, if I'm saying it correctly. Will we take first names, David? Yeah. Okay, that is correct. Chris and Gordy are two of the characters. Gordy Lachance, Chris Chambers, Teddy DeChamp, and... Nice! Nice! Avoiding the TKO! That makes it an 11-10 lead. Uh, an 11-10 lead for the Kingslayer. Forcing Wolf to answer at least one of his questions. Alright, Jim, you picked category number 11 for someone who plays football. And your category corresponds <laughs> to action slash adventure. Okay. Your two point question. In action adventure, what is the name of the suspect robot in I Robot? <laughs> I knew this one as well. I love it. It's a great book. It's a great book, and the movie does stick pretty much to the book. So. It's the second question we ask about this movie. Five, the first one was four, about three, a car. Two, one. Sam. 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 That's incorrect. The it's inco Sammy, right? The correct four. answer was Sunny. Sunny. Yeah, Sunny. like the video game <laughs> company. Or, you know, technology, but... <laughs> <it>. <laughs> All right, second question, you picked number 12, and that corresponds here to Disney films. 
your three point question in the category of Disney. Have to maneuver around the database and here we have it. Whoa! What year was Homeward Bound The Incredible Journey released? A movie released its question again. <laughs> That sucks. Five, four, three, two, nineteen ninety-two. Oh, that's not correct. We are looking for nineteen ninety-three. Have you seen that movie, oh. DJ? No, I have, but it's been forever. Probably it's a good guess, man. Children. Yeah, a, yeah. two dogs and a cat. Wow. It's, all right, so we are. The King Slayer has an 11 10 lead and forces the wolf to go to his five point question to win. Yeah. Avoids the TKO and pushes him all the way out to the end. This is great. Yeah, this is. A, I mean, I said the compact would be difficult, but now he's forcing Wolf to answer his five pointer in the category 10. Which is this could, end up, this could end up being the red wedding all over again. <laughs> Which corresponds here to the very handsome Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they say that too. No. It's Denzel, but okay. Yeah. Ha ha ha. <laughs> all right. In which Brad Pitt movie? Can you hear the line? I'm the guy who does his job. You must be the other guy. Yeah. I love the question writing team. <laughs> I don't mess around with these five pointers, you know. And I and suddenly you find a movie release date in a three in a three pointer. Right? In which Brad Pitt movie can you hear the line I am the guy who does his job, you must be the other guy? I think I know the answer to this too. You do? Nice. I might, I might. I, 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 I didn't. Five, four, three, two, one. Repeat. That's the last one. In which Brad Pitt movie can you hear the line I am the guy who does his job. You must be the other guy. Yeah. It's been in so many movies though, it's hard sometimes. It is, yeah. But that's why he has his own category. <laughs> been in so many. Five. Ocean's four, eleven. Eight. That's not correct. And your winner! Making his movie trivia debut and taking down the experienced multiplex man. It is the Kingslayer, Ishan Rajpai. The correct, ans the correct answer was The Departed. Oh, I thought it was Meet Joe Black. Oh. <laughs> I was thinking of Fight Club. Wow. I'll challenge that. you challenge that? Okay. The yeah. challenge is on the table. All right, so after looking it up for the challenge, we, you know, established that Brad Pitt is a producer on The Departed, but that doesn't make that movie count for the Brad Pitt category. So we are going That's to right. give Wolf another question. So, you know, that little win celebration we just did, it's not, it doesn't count until Wolf answers the next question. In the category of Except Brad you know. Pitt, Right out of existence. <laughs> nice. I understood the reference. <laughs> All right. For five points, who directed A River Runs Through It? A river runs through it. Run a river runs through it. Yeah. In five. Four, three, two, repeat. One. Okay, I can do that. Who directed A River Runs Through It? I'm 
know the answer to this one. You do? Nice. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> That's the last one, by the way. Five, so. four, three, two, one. Steven Spielberg. I have no clue. That's incorrect. And as we said before, your winner is the Kingslayer, Ishan. 11 to 10. 11 to 10. So the correct? answer correct? was correct? Robert Redford. Redford. I knew that one. Yeah. <laughs> I knew that one. Nice. Never heard of that movie. Me neither. Yeah, well, you know. Mm -hmm. So, nice rough question. comeback. Nice comeback, man. Okay. I have, I have no idea how that happened. <laughs> you knew the... You knew your three and your five, that's what made it for you. So, yeah, congratulations. So, our interview, thanks, man. So, let's go to the post match interviews with Tyler right now. What is up, face of fanatics? David the Spaniard here with a little post match interviews for you. So, this should be the Elk Lodge with Andrew the Elk Kelk, as always. But unfortunately, he had a blackout. We are not sure what happened, but the most, let's say, the most fiddle sources say that the snow covered the lodge and he has to take care of that. And obviously, his internet is not working because of that. So I decided to step in because obviously I live in Spain and we don't have those problems here because as you can say, it's sunny, it's always sunny here. But today I am with your winner, Ishan the Kingslayer. So, with you had an incredible win today, but coming in today you weren't confident, right? Yeah, so it's not exactly as if I wasn't confident. I've been participating in a lot of trivia contests in India. Uh, I've been a fan of the Schmodown for the past five years, so the rules weren't really a problem. It was just that once you started the match, the questions just kept coming at me and I was confusing the name of the characters with the actors. And for example, Eddie Redmayne. I just couldn't remember him. I kept thinking Nudes Commander, Nudes Commander yeah. <laughs> for some reason. And that's how the first round went. And I think I got a couple of questions right. And it was really close with some of the answers, but it just wasn't my day in the first round. Yeah, so I guess the lights got to you a little there. The first match, I've been there, I, sure. I've got in my first match and yeah, missing missing questions you shouldn't miss, so to speak. And that opposite to a very seasoned competitor in the movie trivia fan leagues, even yeah. he is um, ahead of one of the other fan leagues in multiplex entertainment. And you went out of the first round with only two points, opposite five, I think, your opponent got. Yeah. So, what was your mindset going into that wheel spin? So, I was just a little happy that I had gotten at least a couple of questions right in the first round. If I was exiting the first round with zero, I would have been completely devastated at that point. I was just happy that I wasn't trailing him by too much, that he didn't get a perfect round or something like that. Uh, and I had like eight points to play with and that's just the way I, I was entering the wheel spin still a little optimistic uh, but we all know how that went yeah that didn't happen right uh, yeah. you, <laughs> you got opponents and uh, Julia Roberts I guess I mean funny enough he thought he he thought Julia Roberts was one of your strengths, but I guess he was bluffing. Yeah, he definitely was bluffing. I think so... he was just uh, throwing out categories and looking at my reaction. Uh, <laughs> so I, I'm still a little confident with Julia Roberts in the sense that I've seen a decent amount of her movies. My mom is a huge fan, uh, but just it's just about the questions. And uh, oh. there was a movie release date question thrown in with Julia Roberts in the middle of those questions and I was just like, yeah. hey, it's not my day. <laughs> Julia Roberts plus movie release dates, uh, that's the, lock, the lack of the draw. And you can have a movie release dates uh, directors, like who directed Julia Roberts in this movie, or you can have... Exactly, what, what the color of the door was, I was like, it's been a while since I watched that movie. Yeah, true. Anyways, so you go out of the first of the second round with three, two... 10, 7 points, trailing 7 points. 
I'm thinking I'm dead at this point. And any, I think mostly anyone in your position will think that, especially seeing how your opponent had been playing that far. But, well, you missed that two-pointer. The... I missed the two-pointer as well, and it was like I was debating between the various government agencies that I know of, being in India. Yeah. Uh, you know, the US agencies are just like all of a mix as to who has what jurisdiction and what particular agency was in the particular movie. It's just a huge confusion at that point, and I was anyway feeling nervous. Honestly, I have noticed that for you and for me and for people that are not American, some of, que some of the questions like geography, or yeah, exactly. those kind of basic things that it could be a two-pointer for any other person. Yeah. For us, it's like, I mean, for me, all the agencies sound and look the same. I, I don't see the difference between them. Yeah, so questions like what agency or what state was this filmed in, it's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> all of them look the same. I can't difference Texas from Washington, so... <laughs> <laughs> I'd welcome questions on Indian states. I'll be <laughs> knocking them out of the park all day long. But yeah. yeah, it's like US agencies becomes a little tough. So I missed that two-pointer and I thought, okay, we'll be, the next question will be, and your you know, uh, snacks going, uh, announcing the match after that. But then... But you got that. Luckily. It's no why. Yeah, so... Yeah, and a funny story about that, I was actually trying to remember the name of the title. I thought it was just Snow White and the Huntsman, but then I was in my head so much that I was thinking it's a more complicated title, something like Snow White and the Lone Huntsman or something like that. And I was just trying to tell myself not to overthink it. Hmm. Well, you got that one, and then we went to, got to the five-pointer. You burned yeah. all your repeats. Honestly, I yeah. thought you didn't have it. Yeah. Uh, so... Again, at that at that point of time, I was just reaching because I've seen that movie once, <laughs> and I, for sure, I just remembered Chris, and the only other name I could remember started with a G, and I thought of it because it was a different sort of name. It's not a very usual name, and I could just picture them in my head, and I was remembering a scene where they talk to each other and they refer to each other by their names, and I just took a shot at that point. I was basically dead in the water, and I just thought might as well go for it. Well, uh, you were dead in the water, but you took a breath, and I mean, yeah, you I, came I, out. You came out <laughs> victorious. So, and now you are in the tournament, and uh, yeah. So let me tell you, I don't know who your opponent is yet. Yeah. But you will have to step up your play for the tournament. Oh, definitely. Oh, definitely. And uh, I'm hoping to get at least one more match in, maybe in the geek. Uh, division by then so that I'm a little more comfortable with the entire you know coming up with answers in 15 seconds I think that's the toughest part that I'm facing right now because I get to the answers in my head but it's just the countdown that throws me off yeah so just a little bit little bit of studying and a little bit of match play I think that okay. will I... make me a little more confident okay we'll talk to snacks let's see if we can give you a match against I don't know, against someone in the Geektacular before you yeah. before you play the the tournament. So, Ishan, congratulations on a very I don't know, a comeback win. A surprising win. Yeah. So <laughs> I, I don't know if we that. are going to have comeback of the year or like, you know, upset because honestly you win not going into the match, it was not an upset, but after the second round, you winning was a, oh, yeah. an absolute upset. So congratulations and yeah, keep training because the tournament you are going to face yeah. a very tough challenge in the tournament. All yeah, right, I'm sure I'll face that one of the higher seeds. And by the way, if there are any face-off awards and I don't get the comeback of the year, I'll be really upset. <laughs> yeah. All right. So that's all with each with your winning. E with your winner, easy for me to say, with your winner Ishan for today and we are going to be back with the unfortunate loser, Jim the Wolf. Okay, so we are back with the unfortunate loser of today, the Wolf, Jim Green. Okay, so I guess the Lannisters went victorious again over the Wolves. How are you feeling now today? 
Uh, just feels like round three could have went a little better. I kind of, uh, kind of ran the match all the way up until round three, and then he got round three questions that I knew, and then uh, I got some some crazy out there like three point homeward bound question. I don't know. That's a tough one, and it's a release date. That's a tough one. Yeah. So I felt comfortable when I heard Disney, but less comfortable when it was a homeward bound question. Uh, and then being, getting the uh, the Brooklyn Vale sandwich curse of uh, missing yeah. it by you. Yeah, so I guess today's match was the day of the undercover movie release dates question. <laughs> because yeah. he got one in round two and you got one in round three, which I guess round three is the worst place to get one. Yeah, because so, there's no multiple choice. So what was your mindset going into round number three? Because you got... You, had seven points lead at that point uh yeah i felt pretty fine i thought i was gonna i thought i was gonna win but then he gets the stand this his stand by me question was little a little like i knew i knew the stand by me question i've never seen it so it's like that was his five and then uh you know i love the departed but then i missed the departed question but for in like the brad Pitt, Pitt category but then Brad Pitt's not even in it. So all that good stuff. Yeah. And then Action Adventure kind of giving me a sci-fi-ish movie. Also wasn't expecting that. Because, again, heard a little. I was a little comfortable when I heard Action yeah. Adventure. And then uh, it's, it's kind of like a, a sci-fi-ish movie. So yeah. uh, not much I, I can do. I guess, you know, you I, as a question writer, I can tell you that we go over IMDb. And that's, the, that's how that's listed. So it can be either fantasy or... Or action adventure, and you know that last. Um, I don't remember your last question. The last uh, question it you was, missed. Uh, it was the uh, Robert. It was the Robert Redford question. Yeah, who, 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 who directed, directed Brad Pitt in that yeah. Robert Redford movie? And yeah, I missed that one, uh, <laughs> which you know. Yeah, yeah, if I would have okay. just, you know, if that was the category of Matt Damon, and uh, I heard the the, the departed question, then I would have easily, I would have yeah. easily known that. Of course. But, you know, that's just how it, the cookie crumbles. Okay, so, anyways, uh, that, that, that this only means you are out of the title run for now. So, you are out of the tournament, but that doesn't mean you can stop playing. Do you want to come back right. to singles? Sure, sure. I'll come back to singles. I'll play in the geek one. I'll play whatever. And I've heard the story of a of a of a sandwich maker who uh, who also lost, and his name is Brooklyn Vale. Yeah. And he uh, screwed me over in a full metal match because uh, he picked Mash. So I would like to play uh, Brooklyn the sandwich maker, uh, Vale, in oh, my next. Okay, so match. you are calling out Brooklyn Vale. Indeed. Indeed. Okay. Him and his sandwiches. Okay. Uh, I think we can make that happen. I think we can make that happen. All right. So we are so excited to see you back. We are so excited to see what you can do in Geek Tacular. What are you feel? What? How are you feeling about that division? Do you think you can make anyone give anyone a run for his, for its money? Uh, not Robert Parker, and <laughs> uh, but. Other than that, I mean, it's I'm hit or miss. Like some stuff, I'm really strong in, and I know like random things. But other stuff is just like big gray areas, and I just forget which character with the ale suffix is uh, is is the answer for a Lord of the Rings question. So it's <laughs> like, so it's it's a hit, it's I'm hit or miss. But hopefully, whenever I play, it will be all hits. Okay. Okay, so thank you very much. I am sorry it did, didn't go the way you wanted it to be. So, but it was a good match. You showed that you can hang. It was the lack of the draw in round three, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so with this, you heard it, guys. Brooklyn Vale, watch out because the wolf is coming for you. And back to the desk. And we are back after that. All right, DJ, this was an amazing match, an exciting match to the end, a challenge of the five-pointer, a uh, second five-pointer to Wolf, who had a second opportunity. He had three match points, if you are a fan of tennis, but, <laughs> Ish <laughs> but Ishan got his three-pointer, his five-pointer, fought until the end and managed to get a win that Honestly, I have to 
I, I didn't expect him to win at this point. But... I have to say that I wasn't actually expecting him to win either. You know, debut versus experience. But this is why we don't just play him on paper. This is why we actually do the matches. On any given day, on any given Sunday, somebody can pull out a win. No, I... Deshaun dug deep that second round. You know, Julia Roberts and movie release dates killed him. But he came <laughs> back in the third round. He knocked those three and five pointers out. Unfortunately... Wolf wasn't able to pull any of his third round points or questions for a win. And congratulations to Ishan. Good debut. Yeah. Thanks, man. And now you are up to the tournament. So That's right. Oh you are in God. the winner's tournament. You are now automatically going to be bracketed. You'll be playing for the singles championship. What do you have to say about that? I honestly didn't expect that after the second round. I was like Jamie Lannister after the, his hand got cut off. <laughs> So I was just like reeling, but yeah, I think I uh, managed a decent turnaround in the third round. Luckily, the third round questions went my way, and uh, managed to close it out. I have no, I still no idea how this happened, but uh, really excited to get my first win. Well, you'll have to watch this match again when we post it, Mr. Wolf. You have any <laughs> final parting words there? Uh, I'm disappointed in losing and missing all my round threes. I don't remember when a sci-fi movie became an action adventure movie, but whatever. <laughs> Uh, I would no. That's for something else. Uh, no, I I just uh, am disappointed in missing all my round threes, and uh, that's whatever it is. Solid match, man. We'll definitely have you back again. Uh, just losing in this in the first match doesn't knock you out of the league. We're gonna find somebody else to play again as quick as we can. How do you feel about that? You're good. Yeah, yeah. I have a few ideas of who I could play. All right. You make sure you call them out in the family channel over on the Schmodown Discord channel. Any final thoughts, Mr. Garcia? Yeah, I have to say I am excited because this match went down to the wire and I, you know, the challenge of the five-pointer, a challenge accepted, the second five-pointer, you know, this is excitement. Uh, the the score was 11 to 10, which doesn't really show a great match in the paper, but this was exciting all the way through it. So I just had a lot of, a lot of fun calling it and watching it, so... That's everything yeah, you, a, you have to ask this for these matches. To, this was a lot of fun to call this match. I had a good time. Uh, you know, Ishan showed a lot of... Uh, he was just happy to be here, man, much less <laughs> win the match. You know, he smiled through the whole thing. He didn't care. He was just ready to go. Uh, it, I, again, I want to give a, thank out, a shout out and a thank you to both of our competitors today. Jim the Wolf, Ishan the Kingslayer. Unfortunately, the Lannisters win over the Starks again. It's the Red Wedding as I predicted it was going to be. <laughs> and of course a big thank you to my compadre on the desk Senor David always fun to be here calling the matches with you man and Muchas as gracias always the, As always our behind the scene team the question writers, the guys who do all the graphics to, to help us do everything that we can't do ourselves, a big shout out and thank you and remember be excellent to each other <laughs>